Today, I'm going to Walmart and I have $20 to buy all the equipment that I need to both go fishing and cook what I end up catching. So let's get to it. All right, we're here, let's get to it. All right, so we need something to start the fire for cooking. A dollar. Okay, so we need a fishing rod. This will do. Good thing is that comes with lines, so we just need the hooks. And we're gonna be going for, I don't know if we need that small. There we go, 162. Then I need a lure. Let's see. Let's try this one. 442. Alright, and with three dollars left. I think really the only thing I can get is worms. I guess I'm going with mealworms. Alright, well it came out to be exactly $20 pretty much, a few cents off. But I was kind of hoping I'd have enough money to get a pan of some sort so that cooking this thing won't be quite as difficult, but eh. I guess I'll have to figure it out with some sticks or something like that, sticks and rocks. I should be able to catch something with what I have here between the mealworms and the lure. But let's get home and see what I can do. All right, made it out to the pond. Got the rod here hooked up with the lure. And just in the time that I set this thing up, I can tell that this is a $10 fishing rod. It is very flimsy and cheap, and I'm not entirely sure how long it's gonna last. So hopefully we can at least catch something with it. But I'm at the pond now, so let's see what we can do. Okay, well, starting to get windy out here, and I totally forgot to get any weights for this. So hopefully the wind isn't too much of an issue. I'm already seeing some splashes out here. That's not that bad. You can see all the little sunfish. Here we go. Got something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, the reel stopped working right. Ooh, there we go. All right. A big bluegill. It's an eater size. Cool. It's one. No oh, jazz. You got a fish? You got a fish? So I've just realized that that turtle there is a red ear slider, which up here in the northeast is an invasive species. Highly doubt I'm, doubt I'm gonna be able to catch it where it is, but I might try. Stay. Stay. Damn it. Oh, close. Close. He definitely saw me right before it launched at him. He was starting to move away. Oh well. There we go. 
Yeah, all right. Another sunfish. Yeah, a little smaller than the last one. I'll let this one go. Cool. Oh, I know. Sorry, Jazz. I don't want you to murder it, though. Oh, there's the big turtle. That's the red ear slider right there. I wonder if I can hook him with this. Oh, I hit him. Damn. Hit him with it. Yeah, well. Got one? Oh, I got a little tiny thing. It's nearly as big as the lure. Huh. Wow. What's that, Jazz, huh? Wow. Huh? What's that? Let them go, honey. All right, let's see what we can do. See if we can get another one. Seems like sunfish are the only things I'm going to be catching today. Sit. A couple sunfish, that's about it. Yeah. Won't be long, though. Yeah, right? How you doing? Have a good day. You too. Another one. It's on his back. Now he has an injury or something. Hmm? Now a fish? Well, this one's cold. Huh? A fish? <laughs> Leave it. Leave it. He's gone. He's gone. Big fish. Bass. Oh, come on, come on. Nope, nope, stay away from the brush. Yeah, here we go. a nice bass actually oh come on nope stay back jazz there we go yeah all right nice that's a big fish that's what i'm looking for what's that jazz huh what's that nice Check that out. Or a three pounder, something like that. Actually a lot healthier now than they were last year and the year before, I'll tell you what. I think I'll keep this one though.
Man, if I knew how effective this lure was going to be, I would have just said screw the hooks and the mule worms. It just would have stuck with this. I didn't expect sunfish to go after this too, though. It's time to switch over to the mealworms. Actually, really. Oh, there we go. Oh no! Ugh, sorry, little fella. All right, last fish, little bluegill. Hey. Okay, now I'm done. Oops. Cool. I like this little lure. Perfect size for anything. Okay, got a bunch of sunfish and one good sized bass. Let's get these guys back to the house, cleaned up, and let's start cooking. fish filleted, kind of. I'm really bad at filleting fish, so uh, they're a little rough looking, but just deboned and skinned the bass and then scaled the sunfish. So, just gonna get this fire pit going, and I'll find something to cook these fish on and get them cooked. Okay, well, I failed to get the fire started. Or more like, I don't have the patience to get it started with the wet wood, so I've just resorted to using the grill. So I guess the cooking part of this was a fail, but that's okay. Okay, so I'll start with the sunfish. Just gonna take the whole sunfish, take a piece of butter, put it on either side of it. And it's gonna take my Cabela's seasoning and sprinkle it over both sides. Okay, let's wrap it up. And same thing with the bass flays. Just gonna lay them out. Put the two pieces of butter on it and sprinkle the seasoning over the top. Cover it up, get them on the grill. See, still using the lighter anyway. Get them on the grill. Just leave them until I think they're done. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. They should both be done. Let it cool down and we'll taste it. All right, fish is cooled off. Let's try it.
bass is good. Sunfish. I like the bass more than the sunfish. It seems to be more flavor in it. Haven't gotten any bones yet with the sunfish, but just waiting for it now. Well, I'd say the fishing part of this was a success. Kind of failed at the cooking part because I didn't end up cooking it on the uh, fire pit down there, but oh well. Wood was wet and I didn't have the patience to make it work, so. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.